It's finally happening. My first product release, and you know it had to be this. My very own blackout everyday cap. And I figured I'd share my personal blackout EDC to go with it. So let's check it out. Today we're covering the actual blackout EDC I take with me on a daily basis. And I know you're wondering, yes, I do wear all black 97% of the time even when it's sweltering hot outside. I'll share what my fit is at the end of the video for those really curious, but to start things off, to complete any EDC fit, the cap. And this is a special one. In collaboration with Alpaca and myself, this is the everyday cap. Dare I say, the ultimate blackout cap that's built to last without breaking the bank. What more could you ask for? I'll be honest, they did most of the heavy lifting, they make some of the most functional and aesthetically pleasing gear, and this hat is no different. It's got super minimal branding, which is my major requirement for that complete blackout vibe, 100% waterproof material because umbrellas are for chumps, and the rest is in the details. It's got clean stitching around the whole hat and a classic dad hat fit for any head size mainly thanks to this. What really differentiates it from any other hat out there? The Fidlock buckle and Velcro strap combo around back. First off, the Velcro allows for an exact fit to any head size, perfect for large foreheads like my own, but if you don't need all that room, the strap hider is clutch to clean things up. Then there's the magnetic buckle that you never have to worry about popping out on its own, yet is surprisingly easy when you need it to. It sits flat so it doesn't look awkward, but the geometric design gives total cyberpunk futuristic vibes. So deep down, just know you look very cool from behind as well. Finally, since we let the hat do all the talking, the only reminder you've got the one and only is with this tag on the inside. Cha-ching. So the moment of truth, wa-bam. Yeah, I just went from a seven out of 10 to at least a 7.3. It's minimal, comfy, and most importantly, all blacked out. And although it's completely waterproof on the outside, it's lightweight enough that you also won't be sweating buckets on the inside. I've personally tested this for a month so far this summer, and it passed my forehead sweat test with flying colors. However, if you do want to air it out, thanks to the quick release magnetic clip, it will also double as a built-in hat clip that locks securely onto any pant loop, or if you're a true EDC fan, any fanny pack too. This is a huge launch for me, a blackout EDC product upgrade that anyone can enjoy. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And just for kicks, to complete that futuristic cyberpunk vibe, throw on one of these, a half mask from Machine 56. I know, I know, this is totally on fleek. Links to everything down below. Starting off in the front right pocket, y'all already know it's exclusively reserved for this, my iPhone 12 Pro, but more importantly, the gear attached to it. Starting with the case, there's something about the summertime that just makes me want to slim down. That's why I've been rocking this super slim totally case, which can only be summed up as like an overpriced thick skin, but I freaking love it. Seriously, it barely adds any protection, just a touch thicker around the camera bump as well that I wouldn't trust to do much when this happens, but what it does offer is this, a matte black feel throughout the whole phone while adding little to no bulk on the phone itself. So yeah, I guess you could call it a glorified matte black skin case. Although just because it's called a case, seriously, don't expect any level of protection above a little bit of scratch resistance. However, if you hate that glossy back as much as I do, this is still worth every penny. Plus the benefit of it being so thin, MagSafe accessories still attach onto it fairly well. Hence why I pair it up with the PopSocket MagSafe Pop Grip. Literally a regular pop socket that's magnetic now. The magnets on the grip itself are strong enough although the case does weaken it a bit. However, in use one-handed, it provides exactly what I need, something to actually wrap my fingers around without pulling a muscle. So as long as you don't go purposely shaking its booty, it does the job. And yeah, it still doubles as a built-in stand too, perfect for your late night hands-free activities, if you know what I'm saying. You can also still swap the tops to your favorite designs and the beauty of MagSafe, it's removable. So you can still slow charge, I, I mean still wirelessly charge too. Moving to the opposite pocket, I generally have a tool clipped in here and lately, it's reserved for this cutie. The Civivi KIV or KIV blade. Yeah, this snack size Mars bar is an actual blade and a damn fun one to flip open as well. For comparison, it's about the size of my pinky finger when folded up and just as girthy too. I'm a huge fan of the flat slope designs on the G10 scales as it gives off a sleek futuristic vibe while giving you something to actually grip onto. And then there's the textured pointy flipper at the end so you can do this. Yeah. 
it is as fun as it looks. The blade itself is one and a half inches long, not the largest, but more than enough to handle all your Amazon packages. Sure, ergonomically, it's not the best, but the fact that people will say, aww, when you whip this out is worth it alone instead of scaring everyone around you otherwise. Now it is a slip joint non-locking blade, so extra care is required, but it does stay in place when you need it to. And let's be real, its small size is perfect, as I'm sure many of you are experts by now with handling tiny tools. Now inside the actual pocket, this side side is also reserved for the wallet of choice, lately going to the form function form architect wallet, as it doubles as a notebook holder too, killing two stones with one bird or however that saying goes. At the core of it though, it's a very minimal leather card sleeve. They offer several colorways, but I've got the Chrome XL leather in a black, but you can see the natural grain on the inside as well, since what you're really paying for is the quality in material and craft with the saddle stitch finish. This is one of those things that will only get better with use. Now the centerpiece does go to the standard moleskin volant notebooks, a credit card sized notebook with tearaway pages and a stiff cover. When slotted in, it fits perfectly almost like it was designed for it. But behind that now is enough space to store up to three cards, but generally I rock four in the daily, although I will warn you that the leather will expand to the larger size and there's no going back from that. Plus it's nothing fancy. There's no clips or locks to keep things in, but it still does a decent job at holding things in place through my scientific shake test. Now to actually use the notebook, we've got to have a pen and my new favorite has to go to the tactile turn mini side click. They offer a few different metals, but I've got the zirconium, which will definitely make your bank account cry but it's one of those purchases that you buy once and never have to think about any other pens ever again and uses standard pilot refills which are smooth and write beautifully but honestly you just carry it with you because it's such a beautiful piece of machinery and that wicked click action is a classic fidget toy we all love to hate but still can't stop playing with. They also release seasonal designs too, like their Nautilus, which I've gotten the short length. It's slightly longer than the mini, but just as wicked, especially with the added details. I know you never thought you'd be spending this much on a pen until now. So with something so beautiful, having a wallet that keeps it with me is a win-win. Even if you don't cop the pen, I always recommend having a physical notebook with you just in case that next billion dollar napkin idea comes to mind. But personally, I'm also just a sucker for multi-use products too. Inside the same pocket, although this mask holder isn't technically blackout, the backup mask it holds does keep true to the theme. But this is literally a folded sheet of plastic. I found this on Amazon and it comes in a pack of 10 or 20, but it's cut and folded precisely to fit a disposable mask. While I love using the reusable ones, I'll always carry an extra just in case it gets dirty, wet, or even breaks. So having this on hand means I'm never left without one. To store one away, it's like folding origami. And the best part is, it uses the mask straps itself to keep it closed. The plastic will keep it from getting dirty when stored away, and folded up, it's about the size of a credit card, perfectly fitting inside a pocket as it weighs next to nothing. But it can also double as a way to put the mask you're currently using away when you're about to eat, or outside and may not need it at the moment. The best part is this costs less than a coffee and has saved me countless times. It's a no brainer. Now I don't always carry a fidget toy, but when I do, this is one of my top choices. From Tom EDC, this is the Zerk Mahjong Tao slider. And before you get too excited, it's not cheap, nor is it readily available. So yes, you will have to go through the Facebook groups, I've linked them down below, and find someone who may be selling theirs secondhand. All that being said though, this is still hands down my favorite tool that doesn't actually do anything. You slide it up, then back down, or if you spin it around, there's even a button you can click on the backside. That's it. If you get mad anxiety and need to fidget around to stay calm, you need a fidget toy. This one is just slightly fancier as it's a chunk of zirconia metal shaped into a tile with a bunch of magnets and rails in between. I will confirm it does feel as premium as it costs though, hence why I make sure to take care of my baby with this. The Nedrilo wool sleeve, which he originally designed for AirPods, but I found that it fits many of my fidget toys perfectly, adding a thick layer of wool around to keep it safe. It also just looks minimal and doesn't bulk up too much either. So it's a worthy little pouch to carry such an expensive piece of metal that will Will most definitely annoy everyone around you. Now if I'm feeling minimal for the day, I don't use a sling and instead rely on my belt. Kind of like Batman. <clears throat> Attached to one side, I've got a really affordable sanitizer dispenser I've been testing lately and surprisingly really like, the Bond dispenser. What was really shocking was how simple the whole thing is. It's a plastic container of sanitizer stored inside a plastic clip. 
that's really it. You squeeze the backside and the lid vomits out some sanitizer, but like a Gatorade bottle, it won't leak out any of it until you actually apply some pressure, which is why I fell in love with it. There's no buttons, lids to unscrew or pop open, and you can also use it one-handed thanks to the ergonomic placement of the squeezer. There's probably a better name for that. Refilling is as easy as popping open the top and pouring your goodies in, then boom bam It's designed such that it mimics the action of grabbing something on your belt. You reach under, squeeze, and you're off to the races. The simplicity, intuitive design, and the fact that it just hides away when not in use. Y'all have been asking for budget EDC gear. Well, this is it. On the other side is what I call my actual tool belt, thanks to another from Alpaca, the Alpaca Hub Keychain. Yeah, like I said, I'm a fan of their stuff. The hub keychain also utilizes a magnetic clip to keep your gear locked in place, combined with a giant belt clip base to attach onto anything relatively flat. At the core of it, it's a great modular, customizable, and secure keychain, albeit one of the bulkier key holders I've used, but a trade-off I'd gladly make for how intuitive it is for my style of carry. And don't worry, it's scientific shake test approved. There's a single pull tab that lets you easily grab your gear when you need it, and the magnetic clip auto magically locks it back in when you're done. Easy peasy. But it's the actual clip that wins it for me. Thanks to the stubby design, your keys won't be hanging halfway down your thigh. Now to maximize its efficiency, I pair it with a few other tools. Starting with the new Apple AirTag Tracker, as I've misplaced this one too many times. Combine that with the D-Brand AirTag case and skin combo to black out the design. And well, remind anyone who tries to steal my keys that I mean business. On a serious note though, if you hate the white gloss back and the scratch prone metal back of it, this combo lets you hide that away or even change it to their dozens of other design options. Plus, right out of the box, they give you several carry options too. Win-win. Attached alongside this is a tiny stylus from Keysmart, the Nano Stylus. And true to its name, it's about an inch long and has one of those cheap rubbery nubs you find on dollar store tablet styluses. But for the price, I can't complain, especially when combined with its metal body. It's great for any public touchscreen devices that may have seen one too many chicken nugget fingers, while also just hiding away on your keys when not in use as it weighs next to nothing. Finally, I've personally never needed to carry a flashlight with me as my iPhone does the trick most of the time, but then I found this, the Nightcore Tiny 2. And as the name suggests, it's really tiny. Yet, it can do this, turbo mode, outputting 500 lumens from this mini little metallic box. Insane. It charges via micro USB, so there's no need to replace batteries, and has its own key ring, so I can do this. Packed all together, this is my personal multi-tool. Clipped and loaded, it's one pull away from accessing, with every tool being one hand accessible. And the beauty is, I can swap things in and out depending on my activities for the day, so I'd go as far as to say, this may be the perfect modular multi-tool for me at least. Quick tip, if y'all have ever seen me in public, then you'll know my back pocket always has this, a sweat towel. For fellow head sweaters, I highly recommend you carry one. Anyways, these are my favorite Nike dry fit shorts because it's basically cargo pants, but from the future. With the extra storage holding my earphones of choice, the AirPods Pro, but wrapped around it, the new D brand grip case with a customized skin. They've essentially taken their regular phone case, shrunk in it, and added all that grippy glory to your AirPods which at first I thought, why? Then I remembered the many times that damn glossy curved surface of the AirPod slipped right out of my fingers. And this finally made sense. It's for my fellow Butterfingers out there. Aside from the textured matte black finish it offers that I can confirm feels tingly in the hands in a good way. The case itself also stays on securely and offers drop protection thanks to the thick shell, but also mainly scratch resistance too. Personally, I actually prefer the clean symmetrical design without a lanyard attached, but if you're a super klutz, the lanyard has an adjuster that lets you basically tie this to your body and never lose it again. Obviously, it wouldn't be a D-brand product without the option to customize, and it's no different here. But I did want to point out how much thought they put into everything else too, including the backup tape for the top lid, a case ejector tool because you will 100% struggle to remove it and even a sim card tool that's actually meant to simplify your life seriously this is a plus packaging for all the lazy folks out there some other must-have essentials that i featured previously but still consistently carry with me my quip gum dispenser the most overkill and fanciest pack of gum you never thought you wanted until now it's made of a metal body with some plastic components but the real magic is that it does this yeah it's basically an adult Pez dispenser. Right off the bat though, you will have to buy their specific gum. It's not the cheapest, but at least it actually tastes pretty good. Oh, it's also good for you too, 
designed to help prevent cavities or something. I just like to chew gum and the all black design sold me. Plus, I also really hate regular gum packaging that just crinkles up in my pockets. A side bonus, you will feel like a total badass refilling it, or it may just bring back some nostalgic vibes. In the end, it's just fun to use and will at the very least make it slightly better when your friend asks for a gum. You can literally slingshot one over to them. Five second rule. Finally, while I can't find the Nike dry fit shorts available anymore, my go-to blackout t-shirts are from Uniqlo, the Aerism oversized t-shirt lineup. They're thick, so it doesn't wrinkle or feel cheap. They have proper stitching for a clean look and a tight neck collar that really differentiates a great shirt. Pair with my new hat and you've got the one and only blackout EDC fit. Let me know in the comments down below if you're copying one of these bad boys. Plus, don't forget to tag me if you do, but that's it. I rest my blackout EDC.